Looking for that certain video that shows you how to set up and run your new Giesemann Verve fixture? Stay tuned as I may just have what you're looking for. Hi everybody and a very pleasant day to you wherever you may be. My name is Carlos and in this video we will go over installation, setup and operation of Giesemann's latest LED fixture, the Verve. This elegantly crafted full-spectrum lighting fixture with unmatched performance, unprecedented control, and full customization is the latest innovative creation from our German friends at Giesmann. The Verve features 56 optimized full-spectrum plus UV output LEDs, a beautiful aluminum magnesium alloy metal frame that makes it by far the most attractive unit out on the market built-in wireless Bluetooth communications that allows you to connect and control up to 100 fixtures together, full control via PC, Mac, Android, or iOS mobile devices. And although not included with the Verve, Giesemann offers a suspension kit as well as a very stylish tank top mounting bracket. Before we install the fixture over our tank, there's a couple of safety guidelines that we must take into consideration. The Verve and its power supply unit are not waterproof. Be sure to mount the power supply away from water and high humidity environments with proper drip loops and proper ventilation. Now that we've covered how to mount the fixture as well as the safety guidelines, you're probably wondering, how do I configure and run the new lights? Well, we have put this quick guide together for you to facilitate the process and make it as seamless as possible. Your Verve is a masterful piece of German engineering, and there is a small and unlikely chance that the Verve is set to German language. If that is the case, please refer to the link below where you will find instructions on how to easily change the language to English. The Verve fixture comes in two flavors, the Verve Plus, which is the master fixture, and the Verve One, which is the slave fixture. You can connect up to 99 Verve One modules to every Verve Plus fixture. To connect the Verves together, the first step is to assign a unique slave ID to each Verve 1 fixture you have, and then tell the fixture to broadcast its signal so that the Verve master can detect it. To change the slave ID number, power up your Verve 1 fixtures. Using the jog dial, select radio under the Verve menu. Now select slave ID. Here you assign a unique slave ID number to each fixture. Again, if you have multiple Verve 1 fixtures, make sure that each fixture has a unique slave ID number. Now, under the Verve's menu, scroll and select Radio, and then make sure that it is set to On. Select Exit when done. Repeat this process for each and every Verve 1 module. The next step in the process is to create a group of lights, so that you can easily control them all at the same time. A group must consist of a Verve Plus fixture plus any number of Verve 1 modules. Each Verve Plus fixture comes with a PAN ID assigned to them. This is the same as a group ID. To make the slave modules part of the same group as the master fixture, all you need to do is change the PAN ID on the slave module to reflect the Verve Plus fixture. To find the PAN ID number on the master fixture, all you need to do is power up the Verve Plus. The PAN ID will be shown on the display module. Make note of this number. Now, you must modify all slaves to match the same PAN ID number. Power up your Verve 1 fixtures and select Individual from the Verve menu. Using the jog dial, scroll and select Settings. You will be prompted for a PIN. Enter 1, 2, 3, 4 and select OK. Now scroll and select PAN ID. Input the same PAN ID as the master fixture. If the Verve Plus has a PAN ID of 03.123, then input 03 on the first box and 123 on the second box. Now that you have paired the fixtures, you can verify that the master fixture in fact sees each of the slave modules. On the master fixture, select Radio from the Verve menu. Now select Online. At this time, you will see a list of slaves and a solid dot to the right of each of the slave IDs with matching Verve 1 fixtures. Now that we have successfully paired our master and slave fixtures, let's go ahead and download our mobile app to easily configure our lights. The Giesemann Verve app is available on both the App Store and the Google Play Store. 
Gizman has put a lot of thought into the design and user experience of the app. So much so that each app looks and works the same way in all platforms, be it PC, Mac, iOS, or Android. For the purposes of this video, we will be using the Android app to connect and program our lights. So we're using an Android tablet for this video. The first step is to go to the Play Store and download the Verve app. Now you may go ahead and search for the word Giesman. You will need the app that reads Giesman Verve. Go ahead and install it. Before opening the app, just make sure that your Bluetooth is enabled. So now let's go ahead and open the app. Now we need to search for our available master fixtures. To do this, hit discover. Your master fixture will be lister fixture. Tap on it to select. Now you will be required to enter an eight digit code. This code is the same as the last eight digits of the product ID found on the sticker on the side of your Verve fixture. Once you've entered your code, go ahead and click OK. Immediately after connecting to your fixture, you will be taken to the info screen. Here you'll be able to set the date and time of your fixture, as well as confirm the number of slaves connected to it. To correct the time, just tap on the date. Here you can select the hour and the minutes. select a date. To access the menu, just tap on the upper left hand corner three horizontal bars. Here you gain access to all the controls for your fixture. You can go to live controller which allows you to manually set the intensity of each of the channels. You can go to moon adjustment where you can set the 28 day cycle of the moon and you can also go to day adjustment where you can create a 24 hour schedule of different intensities for each individual channel. Let's go to Live Controller. The app allows you to select which fixture you want to control. You can select each individual master or slave, as well as select all fixtures at the same time. For our purposes, let's select all. Now you're able to change the intensity of each of the individual six channels by sliding the bar left or right. To view the menu, just tap on the upper left hand corner. Now let's go to weather. This is to set how many cloud simulations you want during the hour. You can also set lightning. The clouds allows you to set how many clouds per day, the cloud duration in seconds, and the intensity of the cloud. In terms of bolt or lightning, you can set the number of lightning per hour and the time frame for the lightning. To return to the menu, just tap on the upper left hand corner. Let's go to moon adjustment. Here, the fixture allows you to set a moonlight. You can select which fixture you want as moon, as well as select them all. Click OK. Now you can select which channel you want as your moon. You can go with blue, cool white, deep red, or royal blue. For our purposes, we will select cool white. Now here you can define two things. You can select the day in which the cycle is on, as well as the intensity of the moon. The moon has a 28 day cycle. If you select day 1 or day 28, you'll end up with a new moon or no moonlight at all. If you select date 14 or 15, you end up with the highest peak of intensity of the moonlight. You can change the day on the 28 day cycle of the moon to match your local schedule by sliding on the bar located on the lower left hand corner. You can also change the intensity of the moon by sliding on the bar right next to it. Once you've selected your date and intensity, you can go back to the menu by tapping on the upper left hand corner. Now let's go to day adjustment. Here you can set a 24 hour schedule with different intensities for your channels. You can do this by selecting one light fixture or you can select all fixtures at the same time. In our case, all three fixtures are over one single tank, therefore we need to select all fixtures. You can change the intensity of each individual channel. You can do this by just tapping on the screen to create different intensity points on the schedule.
Then you can tap on anywhere on the screen to move the entire schedule down. You can repeat the process with different channels. To access the different channels, just select menu, select channel. Once you've completed your selection, you can send this information to the fixtures. To do this, just tap on Menu, Upload. If you do not wish to create your own schedule, Gizman has provided a number of presets. To access the presets, just hit Menu, Presets, and then select from six different presets. It ranges from Reef 1, Reef 2, which are standard lighting, Acclimation, if you are putting your lights over an existing reef tank, lagoon, deep blue, and fish if you have a fish only tank. Let's select reef one. You can also modify this preset by just tapping on any of the points. You can also modify different channels by hitting menu, select channel. Once you've made your changes, you can send this information to the fixture by hitting Menu, Upload. If the changes are not to your satisfaction, you can always reload the preset. To do this, just hit Menu, Presets, and Reef 1. Just as before, you can upload the preset to your fixture by hitting Menu, Upload. To view the main menu, all you need to do is tap on the upper left hand corner. Thank you for joining us. If you like more information on the Giesman Verve, are experiencing issues with your light, or have technical questions that you wish to ask, please head over to www.coralview.com forward slash support and submit a support ticket. If you have any comments or tips that you wish to share with fellow reefers, feel free to leave them in the area below. If this is your first time joining us, hit the subscribe button as we often release new videos related to reefing. Thank you again for watching CVTV and see you next time.